Hi, this is Ali Shaw from Datadog. In this two-part series, we're going to look at how to use Datadog Synthetics to proactively monitor the health and performance of your web applications. Today in part one, I'll be sharing with you a tip on how to create an API test to check for availability and uptime of your applications. From the Datadog Synthetics homepage, click New Test, then New API Test. First, we're going to define the URL we wish to test. In my case, I'm going to use shopist.io. I can give my test a name, and then I can specify the tags associated to this test. Datadog, Datadog leverages tags throughout the platform, so it's important to set these to correlate this with the rest of the data I'm collecting. Let's specify my environment tag as shopist. And then I can configure any additional tags to relate this to the rest of the services. I'm going to specify web store. Next, I can configure the locations I wish to test from. There are a series of Datadog managed locations around the world that I can test from out of the box, as well as deploy my own locations for more granular testing. Finally, I specify the time period at which I want to run this test, say every five minutes. Let's run a test against this URL to see the response. You'll notice in the response preview that we're presented with the status code, as well as the response time. These elements are automatically added as assertions to my test. In other words, these conditions must be met for the test to pass. Next, I can specify if I want to define any extra headers or parts of the body in my test. For example, I can specify etag as a value. For more advanced configuration options, I can use the advanced options section to define any request headers, cookies, authentication my site requires, or any body that I want to pass as part of my request. Finally, I'm given some, some alert conditions around whether to retest on failure. And last but not least, I can define a notification method for saying that our site is down, for example, and integrating into the various collaboration tools for routing that alert to the right place. Let's create the test. This test will now run at the regular interval every five minutes that I've defined. Let's take a look at one I made earlier. Back on my Synthetics homepage, I can filter down by the tags and the name of the service that I created and open up an example test that was previously created. I'm presented with a global uptime to see the overall availability of my service and then broken down by the various locations and network timings that the test has recorded. Finally, I have the results from the tests that have been running and I can see where they have been okay or where I have had alerts. Let's explore an alert. In an alert, I'm presented with the various timings for this specific test, the assertions, and I can see where we failed, the response time was exceeded, and I can look at the response details. Here I'm presented with the header and body, where applicable, of the response of this test. This may give me some initial insight into why my test failed. For more insight, I can also correlate my synthetic test back to the backend performance of the application. Thanks to the link into Datadog's application performance monitoring, I can tie this request back to the backend trace to understand whether there was an element within the code when this test executed that failed. And finally, I can combine all of these metrics that I'm pulling from my synthetic test and build my own bespoke visualizations in Datadog dashboards, whether it's top listing the slowest API endpoints, using the SLO widget to calculate based on my synthetic tests, the overall uh, performance from the past week or 30 days, as well as combining all of this data with other Datadog metrics and events. Thank you for your time.